Alright, so let's start with transforming Zorin OS into Mac OS. So we need to do some preparation before we can start. First, we need to install Twigs. Go into your store. Inside the store, search for Twigs. Okay, go to Twigs. Here is Twigs and install it. Now, Twigs is like a jailbreaking system. It's very simple. It will unlock features inside Zorin OS. Now, for my case, it's already installed, so it's launched. So now we have done. We can proceed with downloading some stuff. Okay, so let's do it. Open your Firefox or any browser you have and go into the genome extensions. Okay, so let's begin. Now inside here you have to install the extensions and it will show you this fit at the top right here. Click on it and you will go into the same uh, website. So once you have this fit, then you're good to start. So first we need to install is the logo. The logo menu, go into the logo menu and here you just turn on to install you just turn it on and it's done okay then it will ask you to put in your administration password and you just turn it on and that's it finish done another thing is we need to go into start overlay then here it is start overlay in application view this what does this do is it binds your start Key on your keyboard to the start menu in Zorin OS. So this is for only genome. Later on, I'll show you what does this do. You just turn it on and that's it. Then it will install. Okay, so after doing this, we can start by downloading some files for installing Mac OS. So let's go into the genome themes. Genome themes. And then you can go in a genome look. This is the one that you're supposed to go. Alright, so inside genome look is where we start downloading the required files for converting everything into Mac OS. So just follow it and download whatever I'm downloading. Then we can start after this process.
so here are the required folders so I'm going to create a folder to categorize them okay so this three folder you don't have to do it this is optional I'm doing it so that it's easier for me so let's start these two are for planks so we go to plank and then the Brixer Originals and Crossers are for icons. Okay, let's go back download. The White Sir Duck is for teams. Okay, so we are done now. Let's begin by going into the home. Inside home, you need to go into this menu and show hidden files. Then you right click here and new folder input this exact name dot icons and right click again new folder dot teams and create so make sure they have dot in front dot teams and dot icons now we can start by moving all of them into these two so let's open up a new window of file explorer And then we go back to our downloads as you can see I've categorized them to make it easier that's why I did this for this double click and you open up in a zip file and then open in teams and move it okay it's done now close go back to homes and go to icons then in your right side go back to downloads and go to your icons then open this once it's done again move all these two inside here inside the dot icons Okay, once it's done, close it, go into Mac Mojo Cursors, double click to open and move it. And that's it. So after this, the plank will be done in the final stage. So right now we just leave it and close it all. And now we go into Zorin Appearance. Zorin Appearance here. In Zorin Appearance, in the layout choose the last one then go to theme others application change to white sir duck in the icons choose big sir original prime and shell choose white sir duck in the interface change the title bar to the left Enable Jelly Mode to feel like Mac OS. Okay. Now we can close this. Go at the top left and choose Activities. Then we search for Tweaks. Click the Tweaks. Then click on the green one to expand. Appearance, remember to choose all this cursor to MacMoje, and that is all. Go to extensions, scroll down to logo menu, here logo menu here. Click on the settings, the toolbar here, and you should be able to see the Apple logo over here to change. So once you change, you can see at the top left here the Apple logo. You can choose either the icon to be bigger or smaller and you can close it scroll down and find for start overlay make sure it's turned on remember this is to bind your start menu to your start key so if you press your start key now it opens the start menu so once we are done we're almost complete now we need to do is 
put a dock here. What is a Mac OS without the dock, right? So let's go and open the start menu, type in the terminal, and go in sudo space apt space install space plank. Just follow exactly as I write here and press enter. Put in your admin password. Then over here, they will ask you to continue. Press Y and enter. Let it finish. Okay, so inside the start menu, search for Palanque and click on it. Now you should be able to see this bottom dock here. Now we go in the into the files to your downloads and remember we have downloaded plank inside here new window again for file, file explorer go to homes and go into dot local share and find for plank plank over here Teams, we open up Mac OS and move it in. Is it done? Okay, so it's already inside. Close it. For plank separators, you need to go into pictures here and right click new folder. You can choose lines. Okay, then you go into plank separators and move this into the lines folder then you go into lines you can see plank separators and they have horizontal and vertical go for the horizontal and it's up to you whichever line you prefer just drag it down here and you have yourself a line in the dock so once you're done just close all of this and right click in the corner that with the spacing here make sure you don't touch the icon right click preferences now inside the team change it to mac os bs imac m1 black click icon zoom so that it can do this animation and you can increase the size however big you want I will prefer it to be smaller to be the same as the Mac OS size then we can see uh, behavior I think it's all okay Docklet is all okay and I think we're done yeah before we end we need to insert plank into the startup apps so first you go to start menu go to startup apps and then you add type in the plank in the name then you search in the start menu, main menu. Okay, so in main menu, you go into accessories and you should be able to see plank. Click plank, click properties, and you can see the command. Just copy that command into the startup program commands, and that's all. So every time you restart the computer, the dog will be there available. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Below is my previous videos, to the center is my other videos, and to the side of it is my playlist of my previous and future videos that is to come. <laughs> so check that out, and thank you all for watching. Famous Cyber Ramus signing out. What